Code explain says hi. So today we're going to create our to do's component. So inside of to do's here, we're going to show just all the to do's based on the project. So to render a to do a single to do, we're going to need a component called to do. When the user clicks on today, all days work other personal, we show the project here and we show all the to do's in that project. But if the user has clicked on next seven days, we're going to show a different UI. So we need to show the days and then show the to do's in those days. So we need a next seven days component to render this UI here. So if it's not the next seven days, we're just going to go and render all the to do's. But if it's next seven days, we need to render our next seven days component. So now, a to-do is an object, so every single to-do is an object. So we have an object, the first property here is an ID. Each to-do has a unique ID, then it has some text in it, and then a time, the date of the to-do also, so we need that to filter our to-dos based on the date. We need also a day, so the number of the day in a week so we have our days of the week day is just gonna be the number of that day so for example if it's sex it's Saturday it's today we also need a checked property so if it's true it's checked if it's false it's not checked and then a color for uh, our to do we're going to generate uh, different colors or random colors for our to do's and then the last property is the project, work, personal, other, any project. Now all the to-dos are objects, they're gonna be inside an array. I'm gonna set that to a constant called to-dos. Uh, for now, we're just gonna go and create that manually. We're not getting yet the to-dos from uh, the database. Now let's talk about our to-dos component. So inside our to-dos component, we have a dev a parent and then inside we have this uh, dev with the class name selected project so the selected project is the project that the user clicked on so if he clicks on work for example work goes here and then we show all the to do's uh, that are under our work project again our selected project here is just a string i typed in just for this part in the future we're going to get this selected project using context until we get there let's just keep it a simple string now here i'm gonna go and use some color braces and say selected project and then at the bottom here i'm gonna render my to do's so remember that if it's the next seven days so i need some javascript there if it's the next seven days i'm gonna go and render my next seven days component the next seven days component needs all the to do's array then it will do some logic inside, so some filtering, sorting, uh, all the to-dos based on the day and then show them to the user. Else, if it's not the next seven days or if it is any of the other projects, I'm gonna go and render the to-dos or all the to-dos using the map uh, method. So I'm gonna say to do's array that map. Then for each to do, I'm gonna render a to do using my component to do. The to do here needs uh, the to do itself, the object, and then the key to do that ID because the ID it's unique. So that's it for the logic part. Let's go and see this in action. So first we need the files from the last uh, part. I'm gonna go and copy the link to the folder of the last part, the part nine. And then I'm gonna go to downgit, click on download, and then go into the folder and run npm install, and then you're good to go. If you already have the files, then go and open your text editor and go to the to-dos component. Inside of it, we need a dev with the class name selected project. So we need to show the selected project. For now, it's not it's not gonna be uh, it's just gonna be a simple variable or constant a string. But later on, we're gonna get that using context. Now at the bottom here, I'm gonna render all the to dos. But 
and I, I'm gonna go and paste in the to-dos. The to-dos are inside an array, they are objects, so to render them we need a map. Now based on the selected project, if it's the next seven days, I need to render the to-dos using the next seven days component. Next seven days component takes in all the to-dos and then do some logic and render those to-dos. If it's not the next seven days, I'm gonna render all the to-dos using a map. So each to-do is gonna render using a to-do component. The to-do needs, the to-do component needs to-do and the key. Now let's go inside the to-do for now. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna go and show the name or the text of the to-do. So if I save here and go and change the selected project, for example, to today, you can see the text for my two to-dos in the array. Now let's go and style our component. So to-dos here, it's gonna be a width of 450 pixels, then height of 80% of the parent. The background is gonna be white. Now you should see it. Now I will go and position absolute the to-dos dev. Then I'm gonna set the bottom to 40 pixels, left to 40 pixels. But I need this to be relative to the main, not the amp dev. So that's it. Now I need a border radius of four pixels, then an opacity of 0 0.9, and then a padding 0 for top, 0 0.5 for RAM for left and right and bottom. Now for the selected project, I will need some margin, so one RAM zero, and then uh, for text transform, capitalize the, the word, and then the font size is gonna be 1.2 rems, then the font weight is gonna be bold, and then the padding bottom is gonna be two pixels, and then I'm gonna add a border bottom one pixel solid. Now I will add another flow for the Y axis and set it to auto to my to-dos. So whenever I have a lot of to-dos uh, in my list and they go beyond my, my dev, my element, I will need a scroll bar on the right. So that's it for this part. Take care. See you in the next one.